Hello comrades, this is Darth Vegan here with a new game from 3 Division called Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And I have played this, uh, it's in early access, and I've been playing it for a couple of hours, and let me tell you, <laughs> it is addictive. Oh my gosh, so addictive. And um, I have really been enjoying it. Really, really been enjoying it. So I thought, might as well do something new on the channel. I don't think I've ever done a uh, city management building, uh, city management game on uh, on the channel. So first times for everything, and this is going to be the first uh, of these. So the Soviet Republic is um, set in the Soviet Union in the uh, 60s and 70s, and uh, you're basically uh, building your Soviet Republic. So let's get started. <clears throat> now this is an early access, so not all options are available. Uh, whenever I played by, on my uh, test run, I played on medium, and I ran out of money quickly. So I think I'm gonna go with easy. <laughs> Excuse me, so that I have a little extra money at the first. Um, unsatisfied citizens reaction. Reasonable. Let's say they're reasonable. Uh, energy management. I do need, I want fuel and power lines. That to me makes it funner. Uh, day and night cycle. Uh, it gets kind of dark at night, but we'll, we'll try it out and see what, what it looks like. Building fires are uh, normal. Yep. Global events. Uh, it's not available right now. Pollution. Okay, available. We're going to go ahead and get started in 1960. Um, I kind of like the look of the old timey trucks, and I think it makes it a little more, I don't know, challenging perhaps. It's plenty challenging. Plenty challenging already. And you can unlock all the vehicles, or you can lock them according to the year. I'm going to go ahead and lock them according to the year so that we get a feel for the, uh, for the, uh, the vehicle changes as over time. Uh, also, education simulation. Children automatically reach basic education. There's no elementary schools needed for newborn citizens. Parents can work even while their children are under six years old. No kindergarten. Now, I played it on complex, and it, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get schools everywhere you need them, but I'm going to do it again. Also, I want to start not with a blank map, but with people that are uh, already populated. And I think it makes it interesting to connect up little villages with your sprawling empire. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. I'm super excited, guys. Super excited. This is a this is really fun and I hope it's fun to watch. Uh, uh, I I'm going to flash now a warning for those of you with OCD or OCD like symptoms uh, this will be triggering <laughs> I am not a um, perfect square designer I am a fly by the seat of your pants designer organic I like to call it organic and um, so yeah um, be forewarned. Not only that, um, the game itself is is a little finicky uh, with the connection sometimes. I mean, uh, it can be a little rough to uh, to get what you need uh, with the uh, with the with the way the layout is, and and you can you can change terrain and things like that. But anyway. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at our neighbors here. So this is a, a neighboring, a Soviet bloc country. <clears throat> so you can see the Soviet stars here. And then we have an input of power and a custom house so that we can sell uh, resources here. Um, and then likewise over here, uh, let's see, I think it's over this way perhaps. There's a, nope. Not that way. Maybe it's this way. There's the um, the uh, NATO countries. Yeah, they're there. And they you can do the same thing, but 
<clears throat> instead of getting rubles, you get dollars. So uh, you start with two kinds of income, rubles and dollars. I typically try to use rubles for everything that I can, dollars where I have to. Uh, <clears throat> kind of my slush fund, excuse me, sorry, my voice is cracking there. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to come over this way near Sejov and we have a both a power and a customs house here and we've got a pre-built road out of there and I'm thinking a nice village right here with some farming would be a nice start and likewise I can can connect up this little area this little village here uh, let's see let's see it's got a nice cathedral in there for people to worship in uh, church is very important apparently or spiritualism is and so what we want to do first is plan out our power so what I'm gonna start is I'm gonna be buying power from the Soviet bloc here so I'm gonna go ahead and connect you can see this little uh, large triangle there that means it's a high voltage I'm gonna go ahead and connect out here I'm gonna run these power lines over the mountain and put them about right here. I could run it along the, the thing but why I want to see a pylon on top of this mountain that's what I want but before I do that before I do that I want to make sure that there's no coal in this mountain that I might need later here. Uh, coal mine. Oh, and there is. There is coal in here. Lots of it. And lots of coal. So, uh, that's probably going to be the second thing we do is build up some coal. Um, that's beautiful. Alright, so I will go ahead and move my power line. Here. It does not like right angles, so can't make right angles. I will go ahead and put some uh, power line. I'm going to go ahead and unpause it so that they get constructed. All right, and then I'm going to grab him, bring him down here, down to a nice flat area, and then we need a power transformer. Actually, we need a switch here. And what I'm doing here is I'm just terraforming just a little bit so that uh, we get our uh, land level enough. And then we're going to need a uh, transformer over here. And we're going to put this transformer down so that we can convert our high voltage to medium voltage. Alright, I don't think we really need roads there uh, at this time. There we go. And so now we can build out some uh, some smaller voltage areas. Alright, so <clears throat> with medium voltage lines. So what I need first is some housing and let's get that started with some nice asphalt road. We're gonna go ahead and asphalt. No, I don't want that asphalt road. I want the regular asphalt road here. We're gonna turn it, upgrade these roads. Cause right now they're those cruelly crappy gravel roads, and I want to upgrade them bad boys. All right, can we upgrade this, please? Some other infrastructures in the way I know. It's crappy gravel road. What what's happening here? Can we just get rid of that? There we go. <laughs> like I said, a little finicky sometimes. It is in early access, so keep that in mind. Alright, so let's go ahead and lay some down there. And I'm gonna make just a little villa out here and I'm gonna make a farm. So I think I'll do the farm first before I do anything else. I want some big fields first and a nice farm. 
So let's take a look at what the farm will be here. Let's back the farm up right next to the road here. And we'll pop it right here. Okay, and then we will, oops, we'll need some big fields. Lots of big fields. So let's put them down here alongside the road. There's one. start off with three and we'll leave plenty of room for uh, for other roads um, and we will need a grain storage from this guy so after he produces his grain put that there and then we will need a warehouse after he produces his grain to go right there, just like so. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and build some roads. First, we'll need a nice asphalt road coming from him to our regular road, and we'll make a little bypass here. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> From here, I think we will just have some crappy old muddy roads. So he's going to go out here. Some other infrastructures in the way, yes. See, this one I'm talking about. All I want to do is get a road out from here. <laughs> So now we've got three fields out there, and let's get another road there, there we go, and I think that should be good, okay, so now we need some electricity to this thing, um, let's get some medium voltage wires, uh, how much electricity does this thing require, does it show? So let's go ahead and get these guys over here. Uh, before we do that, let's put in the, the substation so we can see where to power this thing. This will power those. I'm going to go ahead and put it close to the road so that we can build additional buildings if need be. All right. And then we'll throw a power line out there. There we go. Bing, bang, boom should now be powered. Oh, it's not powered. Why is it not powered? Because we have to buy electricity from our friends here. I want to import and let's do 50% right now. So now we should get some electricity going to the agro farm. Yep. Now it says no power supply still. No power supply. No power supply. No power supply. What did I do? I screwed up somewhere. Thank you, auto save. Let's take... Oh, look at this. I screwed that up. It's easy to do. Easy to do, guys. You think you're connecting to... There we go. Now we got power? Yes, we do. Awesome. So now, the agro farm has power. Okay, so we need some mechanisms to start planting. So I'm going to buy a couple of tractors, a couple of harvesters, and we'll buy a couple of covered trucks. 9.6 crops, 10 crops. All right, we'll do this biggest one. Actually, I want three of each of those things. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. So now, we have fields, we have there we go, we got fields, everything's alright with the farm, we don't have any workers though, right? So, 
but it doesn't matter. We don't need workers. We got the tractors coming out here. <laughs> Look at them go. I love this. I just love it. Look at the tractors go. We're gonna come out here and start sewing. Why don't we need workers? I don't know. I'm happy about it. Don't need workers there. Don't need workers there. So we're good. All right. So now we got our farm going. So now we need people to work in these fields. Ah, yeah, workers on this field. Yes. Okay. So we will need some workers. So we could bust them all the way from this town here. That's too far. So until we get like some trains going or something, then uh, we're not gonna be able to do that. So we're just gonna build a small hamlet over in this area to uh, to truck these people to their farms and so for our hamlet I want to go ahead and upgrade my, my roads like we talked about earlier all right upgrade there we go and the first thing I'm going to build in my upgraded road is a gas station like so, and a construction road vehicles depot. That's what I want. Alright. I could put it on the side of the road. Hmm. I don't think I really need. Let's just put it there. Yeah. Okay. So we will need more electricity over there. Oh, I forgot to put my uh, connection between the here and here, and here and here, there we go, that way they can take crops automatically, um, oh, we need one more, one more bit, one more bit, we need the, uh, food farm, food factory, change crops into food, um, and I think we'll make that right here, If I put it right here, I can connect the roads. Alright, and it's still got electricity. There we go. Now, this definitely will need uh, people to work. Look at that. <laughs> Clipping. <laughs> but it worked, so I'm not going to complain. And you have to come here. however we have to do it okay so he's got electricity he's got connections he does not have any workers yet um, anyway back to this over here this does not need power right no it does not so we need to buy some things that will help us uh, in the long run let's get uh, an excavator and we'll get a truck to haul these um, one ton no eight tons can load vehicles up to 12 tons can load vehicles up to 13 tons I want this bad boy here all right so I think these guys will just uh, they're just gonna chill out and uh, I think they I think they will uh, help with my excavating I think perhaps uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but uh, I think that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and now we've got these guys going. They're sewing in progress still, even though there's no workers, which is what I like about that. There's no workers here. Uh, no crops, so that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build some small, a small housing area in here. And um, where do I want it? I think we want it from right here. Let's build that up. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna branch off here. And I'm gonna make a little town square, just a small one right here. This is a small hamlet, just to, to help with this farming here. So I should have made, it with uh, these 
lit paved roads with sidewalks. Alright, so we're going to make a small hamlet here. When I say small hamlet, I mean it's just going to have maybe a school and a little small store and maybe a little soccer field or something. I hate that I already did this road in the wrong flavor, but there we go. There we go. And then we're going to get our electricity over here because we will need electricity for sure. Medium voltage. Let's bring this guy down. Just like so. Bring him down here. Bring him down here. Alright. That's not right. I almost screwed up again. It's so easy to do. So easy to do. Alright, so we want a little substation out here in the boo, I think. Okay. Just like so. So hopefully this will be able to power everything in here. All right, so now, I should have moved that back just a little bit. That's fine. We want to construct some residential buildings. Now, we'll need something for culture. So, <laughs> about a nice, oh, come on, so close. We need to uh, commemorate our village here with a nice Soviet monument. Alright, that'll give us some culture. And we need a nice football field. It's going to be in the center here. So let's wait and see what we do with our buildings. What kind of buildings do we want? 75, 60, 120, 20, 40. This is going to be a small village, so I think we'll make these out of prefab. 150 workers. That would be nice. Uh, 75 workers. That's perfect. That's perfect. Alright. So we're going to pop this guy right here. He's going to be our first victim. There we go. And he is going to have a footpath. You got to have footpaths to freaking everything here. Beautiful. And inside this square, we're going to have all kinds of goodies. We're going to have a school and a soccer field and all that good stuff. So let's get a kindergarten first. Right next to the nice Soviet thing, monument. I'm going to get a regular school. There we go. So now the children will have a place to go. And so will the parents. Alright, so let's get that going there, that going there. Alright, so now we've got workers, but they don't have a way to get to work. Alright, so let's make them a bus station. And we will do that with a bus stop, bus platform. All right. Let's put the bus stop. I wish I could put it right here. But I can't. The bus stop will be here next to the children's school. Now that's walking distance. What I think is cool is you can click on a building and you can see what all is within walking distance. I love that. That is so cool. All right, and then um, let's get some footpaths here, up there. We're gonna go from here to there. Like I said, don't don't have any kind of coronary from <laughs> 
from the awfulness of it all. Okay, so now I need 170 workers over there. I'm gonna buy a new vehicle. I want a bus that can haul a bunch of passengers. Here's one that does, is that 60 or 80? I think that's 80. Um, but we really just need a micro bus to go to the farms. Because we don't need a lot of workers over there. So let's get this guy to come pick up some people and bring them to the fields. So go here, here, and here. And then go for it. Alright, so this little guy, he's gonna he's gonna come out, he's gonna pick up a few workers, take them to all the different farms, and then uh, take them to work. Now we need a second bus to take a lot of people over to the factory. Um, ideally, or uh, alternately, I should say, maybe we should put another pl bus platform here, and then people could walk to all the different places that we wanted to work, but we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna get a bigger bus, like 52 people, I don't want the biggest bus, because that takes too long. Let's get let's get this one. We're gonna come here, pick up some workers, and then go to work at the farm. I mean at the uh, factory. Now we don't have any food yet. We don't have any crops yet, so we're gonna go ahead and buy some crops. Uh, until we can start making our own crops. So let's purchase four dollars for now. Ooh, 2329. Let's do eight tons. And start buying them. Alright. So now we are gonna be we got our crops in here, we need some workers, and we'll start producing some food. Alright, so how many people's on this bus? No workers are on the bus. Okay. So now we need more workers. So let's go residential. Which one did I do? This one? 75 people? Yeah. Let's get him. Can't quite squeeze one in there. About to do one right here. Like so. And then a second one right here. Like so. And then uh, they will need a store and a pub and a shopping center. Uh, well, a small store. Well, if we get to a shopping center, we can get. Oh, smoke and huge. We're gonna have to do a small store and a grocery store. Alright, that's fine. A small store will be right here next to the school. Or the uh, grocery store, rather. This is grocery store? Yeah. And then the small store will be right here. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. It's a little more room. I might have to make it over here. I might have to make it over here. There we go. So now we have a store. We will need a pub over here as well. We don't need to worry about that factory connection for the store at this point. Alright, so now we've got a basic town, basic little village here, so that people can go out and about. Okay. I'm gonna make just a little footpath down here. Just like so. So everybody can reach everything. Real nice light. Okay, very good. So now we should have plenty of workers coming in. Alright. Heck yeah. Everybody's got electricity. Everybody's doing good. Alright. How many people are at the bus stop? Nobody right now. They're all loading onto this bus. 19 workers going to work. I might need to get a second bus going. Um. Any workers on the fields? No. This is, does the bus have anybody on it? No, it does not. That's a bad thing. I don't want to necessarily wait till they get full up before they uh, they go. But on the other hand, sometimes we waste a little time. 
Let's go here. Let's pick up some people. Let's uh, go here, here, and here. And I'm going to go ahead and tell him to... Eh, let's just start. I guess you can't wait, tell them to wait until they're fully loaded. Alright, so there's people on the bus. Stop waiting. This little micro bus should pick up seven people. And then, uh... Which all should be good. There we go. Load it up. Very good. Now, let's get one more bus going. Uh... Let's just get this 40. Oops. Now let's get him picking up passengers and taking them to the factory. There we go. Two different buses running at the same time. There we go. We got workers! We're making crops! Oh boy. Alright, so now we will start having food. Yeah, we're already putting food in the warehouse. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, get a small truck to take food to our store so that we don't have to buy food we don't have to import food so let's buy one more truck we're going to do a covered hull truck this one probably 5.5 uh, 2.36 3.5 6 this is the cheapest one obviously um, but it doesn't haul very much food. So I'm thinking 2.3 will be enough. They only carry 1.5 in there as it is, so. Let's go ahead and just get this one. Get the VS3 here. We're gonna tank him. We're gonna load him up with food at the warehouse. And I will tell him to wait until he's fully loaded. And we're gonna get a new stop over here at the store. Grocery store, unload. And go. And then we should be able to uh, not have to worry about any of anything. Uh, well, food-wise. All right, so before we end this episode, it's getting uh, about time to end this episode. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little soccer field here in the middle. And something like that. And we will do another footpath. So, the path there. We're going to leave this open for now so that people can, uh, can walk about. Let's see what they're complaining about. Not able to enjoy culture. Look at this. Look at this culture you got. Um, not able to participate in a sport. Unable to visit a tavern. Unable to get food. Unable to get clothes. Well, there's food right here. Can you walk to that food? Yes, you can. Go get yourself some food. The pub is a bit of a walk. Can't quite get to the pub. Might have to put another pub in over here um, for the lazies. Let's just go ahead and plop another pub down. I mean, come on. We can't be stingy with the vodka, right? I mean, it's vodka we're talking about. Everybody needs vodka. Let's see. Come on, I'm so close. There we go. There we go. And let's just plop in a little footpath here. Just like so. Now you can get to your beer. Right? Everybody can get to beer now. There we go. Very good. Okay, so now do we have workers anywhere? No workers still here. Still no workers there. Do we need workers there? I don't know. I don't have any workers there either. What about on the bus? No workers on that bus. No workers on that bus. Where the heck's all my workers? No workers waiting. Where are they all going? Are they all working in all these places? Yeah. Sellers. Yep. Wow. They're all... They're all getting work locally. Okay. Well, that's what I get. That's what I get. 
I need more workers. More workers for the revolution! Alright, well, excuse no, that, that's not wrong. No, that's... No revolutions. Sorry. <laughs> so, let's just take a little glimpse around town as we're, uh... As we're going. He, he brought some food, I guess. Oh, yeah! Look at that. Alright, so I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna tell him to cancel buying food. He's no longer buying food. Oh, no, I do need to buy meat. I do need to buy meat. Auto purchase meat. There we go. Because we're not making meat yet. Okay, so he is fine. They're all fine. Bus stop. No workers waiting. So we're going to have to work on that next episode, but looks like we're starting to get going pretty good. Uh. Except for the fact that we don't have any workers to work in our fields, nor to work in our factory. Everything's going just fine. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and put down a few more of these prefabs. Uh, that's not the one I wanted. I want the one 75 workers. Where, where is that? There it is. Okay. Let's plop a few of these bad boys down. And, uh, you don't have electricity over here. Alright. Does not. And he probably can't reach the school either. I may have to put another school over here, I don't know. But we'll put in some more electric lines. And uh, get these guys all straightened out. So let's just pop him down. Let's excavate that a little bit. There we go. And. Flatten that out a little bit. There we go. Alright, so now they're going to need power and footpaths and all that good stuff. You go there. You go there. Alright. Go. Now they're all walking to wherever. Let's see where this guy can go here. He don't have power. He can go to the store and the pub and to the bus stop, but not to the school. All right. So now we need uh, another power station over here. So let's put in, this will be the last thing we do this episode. We're gonna put in a medium voltage switch right here don't worry kids it's safe don't worry kids it's safe blow that blow that up and this is going to go down here This is going to about to start looking ugly. I forget, you can't go right angles. Um, should I go down by the river? Look at this lovely pow- oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I, I just, I've never seen anything so beautiful. Never seen anything so lovely in my all of my days. In all of my days. Alright. So we're gonna plop this. <laughs> Don't worry kids, it's safe. It's safe. Don't worry about this substation back behind your house. Completely 100% safe. It's safe, guys. It's safe. Don't worry. Alright, so let's get just some, some small ones here. Right through there. And get a nice little substation right about here. Just like so. And there we go. Without power supply. Why is that? 
Why is that? Are these not connected? Is this not connected? That is not connected. Of course it's not. Look at this. Again. <sighs> Alright. There we go. Does that work? Must be something else somewhere. Let's see. What about this mess that I've got going on? It's not a mess. It's it's fully functional. Alright. It's this right here. He doesn't have any connection to this. That's why it allowed me to do that. Because it's dumb. Alright. Um, are these high voltage or is this medium voltage? This is all medium. Okay. I know towns without power. You get them there. You get them there. There we go. Now is everybody happy? Yeah. Now everybody's happy. Beautiful. My beautiful, communist, lovely. Look at this. Everyone's happy. Everyone's going to the bus stop. Can everybody reach the bus stop, please? Yes. You as well. Yes, you can. Very good. Everybody can reach the bus stop. Not everybody can reach everything else, but... We might have to put another school over here. Yeah, they can't, they can't get to the schools. So I need another school, another soccer place. And then we'll do that next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Workers and Resources. Soul Hit Republic. I hope I didn't uh, send anyone over the edge. Send anyone screaming that they want their mommies. Or any other thing like that. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, press that like button. Let me know you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.